Hello everybody, it's your girl Naturally Tosh. I'm back with another video. My hair is two-tone right now, half pink, half purple. I use the Beyond the Zone temporary color spray on each side. If you want more details, check out my blog, I Rock My Natural. I'm going to wash my hair using the Aussie Moist Shampoo and the Aussie Moist Conditioner. Once I finish washing and conditioning with that, I will use the Aussie Moist 3-Minute Miracle, but I'm going to leave it in an hour. And this is just the two-tone color. Now this is my hair washed and conditioned. Uh, all the colors totally out and I'm back to my red curls. Um, I let the conditioner sit in there for almost an hour. Now all I'm going to use is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and the Talia Wajid Curl Sealer. I don't know if I said that right. And a paddle brush. And I'm also going to use a hair tie. I'm going to section off one piece in the back. I'm going to do a couple sections at a time and put this hair up and out of the way with my little hair tie. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this piece here and put some of the leave-in conditioner on it first before I detangle. A little bit at a time from roots to tips. Then I'm going to take my paddle brush and I'm going to detangle it with the leave-in conditioner in it. All the way until it is completely tangle-free from the roots to tips all the way down. Once I have this all in there, well once I have it detangled, I finger through it just to make sure there's no tangles left, as you can see. Now I'm going to take the Talia Wajid Curl Sealer and put some on my fingertips and apply it from the roots to the tips all the way down, working it in with my fingers. A little bit more, make sure I really get the ends good. Now I'm going to work it through with my fingers, a little bit more. Once I have it worked in really, really good, I'm going to start to scrunch it from the bottom. And I'm going to do this to all of my hair, but I concentrate on one section at a time. I'll probably do about four sections, figuring it in and then scrunching the bottom. Make sure you scrunch it in really good, and this is how it looks. Make sure to scrunch it in really good. And I'm going to do all of my hair like that. Now that all of it is done, this is how it looks. I put it in in four sections, scrunched all the bottom. Now I'm going to let it sit in my hair for 15 minutes before I diffuse it. This is how it looks after it sat in for 15 minutes. It's starting to dry somewhat, but I'm going to finish drying it now with a diffuser on low cool. And I'm going to diffuse it until it is totally dry. Here's how it looks totally dry. Nice, bouncy, shiny curls. I'm absolutely in love with the Talia Wajid. And now I'm using the Curl Shine at the end. I'm going to spray some on my hand and then rub it through my curls. You can use as much or as little as this as you need. And I will also do this throughout the week. And that's pretty much it. Work it in a little bit more. You can use more if you like, but I like to use a little, and that's it.